Celtic battled stoically in the sands he rode before succumbing to a stunning late strike from Inter's Freddy Guren. Any chance the Scottish champions had of progressing looked to have been extinguished when Virgil van Dijk was shown the first half red card. But Celtic did not crumble and remained in the tight until Guren's fine finish. Despite the disappointment of their exit, Ronnie de la can't take comfort from his side's ability to compete with the Milanese over two legs. Celtics Jason Dana Eater and Mir Bitten were defensively outstanding as Celtic spent most of the second half camped around their own box. But neither they nor keeper Craig Gordon could resist Guren's blistering drive from 22 yards. Celtic's most famous victory on foreign soil was against Inter Milan in the 1967 European Cup final and hopes of a first win on Italian soil were high before Van Dijk sending off. However, there was a first-minute scare when the Dutchman allowed Mauro Iker in behind him, only for the striker to scuff the shot at Gordon. In an open, hand-to-end first half Garrett McKay Stephen had Celtic's best opportunity but struck his shot straight at Inter keeper Juan Pablo Carrizo. To Celtic penalty claims went unheeded by Slovakian referee Ivan Krasiliak, who took the harder line as Van Dijk caught Rodrigo Palacio from behind and shortly afterwards picked up a second booking for a foul on Hiker. That changed the balance of the match, with Celtic forced largely onto the defensive as centre half Dana Eater blocked Kurdan Shakery's goal bound shot and Gordon kept out Anlo D'Ambrosio on the rebound. The Celtic goalkeeper also made an absolutely stunning one-handed save to claw away Mauro Icardi's header from a free kick moments after Van Dijk's dismissal. Celtic's organization and stout defending meant the goalkeeper was largely unworked after the break until having to pick Guren's shot out of the net, the moment the tie was sealed.